Funimation copyright claims interspecies reviewers clips on Pornhub. So a little history lesson for those of you who missed this shit show when it first happened. But Funimation got the license to interspecies reviewers. They aired like three episodes and then they decided like, oh, this goes against our standards and they canceled it. They canceled the simulcast. They canceled the dub. They stopped it altogether. So the only way to watch this show was pretty much to sail the seven seas. Now, Anime Lab was showing it in Australia and New Zealand, I believe, once they uh, they got a new translator because they were using the same one that Funimation was. But if you want to watch this show anywhere outside of those territories that Anime Lab services, you had to pirate it. And so... Pornhub was one of the places you could watch it if you didn't want to download torrents and shit. So Funimation basically, even though they got the license, they didn't do anything with it. They refused to air it. And now they're taking it down in other places. And before anyone says anything, they're not doing anything illegal, unfortunately, because... It's still true that they have the license to this show in the West. It doesn't matter that they're not doing anything with it. They have the license. And uh, if unless that license had a clause in it that specified that you lose it if you don't do anything with it, however long the term of that license, that contract was, we're stuck dealing with Funimation's bullshit. But the fact is, they, they're not going to do anything with it, but they sure as fuck can find the time to stop anyone else from showing it either. They're, they're just being assholes here. This is not cutting into their revenue in any way. They're not doing anything with this show. They're just being fucking assholes and making sure no one else can do anything with it. They are literally gatekeeping the industry right now. There's massive amounts of people who want this show in the West, but Funimation is sitting there stopping it. Like, nope, you guys can't have that. We have the license, and we are just going to sit on it so none of you can have it. The day Funimation and Soiny go broke, I will be so fucking happy. Even though Funimation has refused to stream interspecies reviewers or allow other platform holders to purchase the license to stream the show in the U.S., they also don't want people sharing any of the content on video hosting services either because they're just being dicks. Some users attempted to make compilation videos of the fan service elements from the anime interspecies reviewers and share them on Pornhub. However, that video didn't last long on the adult sharing network because Funimation hit them with copyright claims. So, you know, I used to spend hundreds of dollars a month on anime. Now it's zero, thanks to the shit that Funimation and and the entire Western localization industry in general just turning on their fans and their customers. These days, I'm just I'm much more likely to just buy some merch from Japan to support uh, support their industry. As long as it never passed through the hands of a Western localization company. That's how you do it. Each of the videos offers a different compilation from species reviewers, also known as Ishizoku reviewers, but Funimation had the videos nuked from the service. Simply put, Funimation refused to stream interspecies reviewers back in February of current year, yet at the same time, they're also just being fucking dicks and preventing fans from putting together compilation videos, preventing others from getting the license... Yeah, they're literally just trying to gatekeep this show out of the West because this show goes against the fucking agenda they're trying to push. They know that if a show like this made it out into the West, that would start that would start getting people demanding more of this type of show, and Funimation doesn't want that. They want to turn anime into woke garbage. They don't want pe- people getting what they fucking want. They're not going to risk this shit. Hell no. Oh, hell no. They're also holding on to the U.S. streaming license for the show so that other platform holders are are unable to get their hands on the show. It's a double dose of giving the middle finger to the fans. So, fans, give the middle finger back to Funimation. If anything passes through Funimation, don't give them money. Watch the fan subs 
And if you want to support the, the creators, buy the original source material, buy the Japanese Blu-rays, and just, just import them. Buy the merchandise, buy the action figures. That's what you need to do if you want to support the industry. Skip the Western middlemen completely. The entire Western localization industry needs to go bankrupt as far as I'm concerned. They, you can't save them. They can't be salvaged. I suppose it shouldn't be much of a surprise given that Funimation is also on the Traders of America master list. Yeah, so some people really hate One Angry Gamer, and I can understand some of the reasons. But you got to admit, this Traders of America master list triggered the fuck out of so many NPCs. That triggering alone made this worth seeing, I swear to God. It's also pretty obvious that Funimation has a hard-on of uh, hate for interspecies reviewers because it caters mostly to straight male audiences. But expect centrists to run defense for the company and make up one excuse after another to avoid the very obvious truth that anyone who isn't a mentally ill liberal can see plain as day. Yep. Fashtag skip the West. Exactly. Skip these motherfuckers completely. For now, it appears as if the only way to view clips or compilations of the show is from Japanese video hosting services such as Nico Nico. If you want to stream it, perhaps. But uh, there's this is another reason why I, I never liked streaming. And uh, for more practical reasons, like um, I can't fucking stand it when it's getting to the climax of the show and then it stops to buffer. Fuck that shit. Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.